Hey y'all, I'm gonna be reacting to Aikatsu Planet episode 11. I'll be watching it from YouTube's website, and it, I'll be watching it from Aikatsu Planet's channel. Currently they got 402 likes and one dislike when I started my reaction video, so I added another like, so now they currently have 403 likes and one dislike. But, without further delay, I will be starting my reaction in 1-0, go! Alright, I'm pumped up for this. Hell yes! I always like a little twinkle noise, like the da 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 da. And honestly, the fans, when it comes to her fans, they took it better than I was expecting, actually. Good. And hope nothing holds her back anymore. Emotionally, of course. I always love when they say stuff like Do Stasmas. Yo, it looks like a buffet of sweets. It's making me hungry looking at that. Yo, it looks good. I just like the squeezing noises when she moves like that. It's adorable. Although, why are you talking about herself in the third person, though? <laughs> I wonder who could reject her, though. I mean, who would be able to reject her? <laughs> it must be a machine with zero emotions. That's the only person I could, the only thing I could imagine rejecting on. And that's it. I can't fathom any living, breathing being that would reject her. I just can't. Okay, one, I take it to two. No, 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 no. And I fucking love the opening. I never get sick and tired of listening to it. The opening theme, the ED, and the mirror in uh, music. Those are among my favorite bits of music in the series by far. And then there, like, right when she's about to go inside of the mirror, just those eyes where it looks like she's about to kick some ass. I love it. And honestly, the OSC sounds pretty darn cool, if you ask me. Yeah. Sala. Sala sounds like, um... Kind of sounds like the... I believe it's the name for Spanish in living room. Kind of sounds like that. I'd have to look it up for sure, though. Kind feelings. Hmm. Or maybe it ain't in relationship. Oh, I thought for a second it was relationship advice. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I guess rejected by address. So I mean, hey. Yeah, I was thinking that too. I mean, hey, not all the judges are going to accept you, though. That's the thing. You can't win them all. Whoa. Well, I mean, what did you want her to do? Lick her feet? Kiss her foot? I think maybe she wants her to do research on her and then come up with compliments that are much more substantial. Yo, that was hardcore! I mean, I could see that. I mean, she does have... A Okay, that means she has a fuck little switch that she made of all of that. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. I mean, she seems to have been... Okay, but what is she Odian? Yeah, and now be busy too? <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, why would you want to do that? Wouldn't that make it harder to win? I would, wouldn't that make her inclined not to do that so that she can have an easier chance of being on if she doesn't have another dress here to use? I'm just saying, more advantages. Hmm. Huh. I mean, it's been a while since they've actually asked anything from the dressmaker. I mean, she ain't wrong about that. Hmm. Oh, so that means she has to understand the dress that she's going to go for then. Um. Yep. I mean, it means something that's sweet, that's really tasty and sugary in flavor. I mean, yeah, it can refer to the desserts, but it can also refer to a snack too. I don't know about cute, but people definitely say beautiful, kind, pleasant. Yeah, maybe she was giving on some hints. Subtly, she just needs to figure it out. I like how that's how she takes it. Okay, now that's just a fucking reach. <laughs> oh, I'm, I love her though. <laughs> What a finesser! But I'm like, ah, yeah, it is actually cute. <laughs> it fucking is! Shit, that's actually genius. They actually look pretty nice in those outfits. <laughs> and looks happy while Shioti is making the face of, please kill me now. And the mouth's making the face of, why the fuck am I here? <laughs> Fuck you. I mean, her opponent isn't preparing either. It works. It's a deadly. It's like a tactical nuke. Honestly, if she was that assertive with Ayumi, I have no doubts that her relationship with Ayumi would be much more powerful. Damn! Yep, you can't say no to that. You'd have to be an emotionless robot to say no to that. I like how he looks scraped the fuck out. He's like, fuck. Now I'm trapped. That's the type of face he was making. He was making the face of a man who knocked up a woman. Now he realizes he completely fucked up. That's the type of face he was making towards on if I had to make a comparison. I got, I got, I got, I Guts. I guts. Say it, man. Say it. I don't hear him saying it. Shit. They all need to say I guts. Fuck. This is making me hungry now. This is no fair fuck. No, I want cakes and, can and fucking cookies. Yo, that look good. Okay. Come on, this is cruel. Come on, I got planet. Why you do this to me? I already ate. You know, they have the recipe on YouTube. I'd probably watch a recipe video and copy that. Wow. 
Wow. That looked beautiful. I just wonder if there was actually the girls making it or did it have some kind of shift behind the scenes? Because that looks absolute pro baller status. Like, no joke. That looks like something a professional would make. That's nice though, we actually get to see him bond with On. On gets some characterization she normally wouldn't get because she's one of the side characters. I mean, honestly, there's really nothing to complain about here. Damn. <laughs> I mean, hey, she tried. She tried. I like how she still has to mention Cupid no matter what. She actually does. Shit. Hmm. Okay, that's pretty insightful there. I mean, hey, might as well just let it... I mean, hey, they gotta deal with it. Yes, she does. Yeah, I would too. I'll forgive on I was in their spot. It's a kick out of it too. Oh, that's a, I can't do that to Sigawa. <laughs> or can Fuck it, I'm doing it too. I like doing that cheesy shit. Yes. Mmm. I, I don't know. I just have the urge of doing that whenever I see an Ikatsu Planet episode. And I see the mirror end sequence. Oh, they actually skipped, uh... I mean, they're already deep into this. They might as well. Oh, those were nice, pleasant vibes. Although, I wonder how she's gonna get the dress here, though. I mean, hey, nothing venture, nothing gang. Might as well try it again. Can it really be shallow, though? What if she ends up liking it? Oh. Hmm. Oh. Okay, I'm starting to get it. Yeah, so the inside that map matters the most. Kind of like, well, I'm thinking, okay, now I get where she's coming from. Alright, that's cute. It's the inside that counts, not the outside. I actually like this. You see, on actually discover more things about herself in life than just, um, partaking, uh, typically, like, uh, making the cake. And also hearing the words from the dress at the start of the episode, too. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay, now she's definitely going to accept her. <laughs> yes! Okay, that looks delicious. Oh, my. Finally, we get to see extended sequences of the dress she was actually talking with some of the idols. I like how she says sweet, not sweet. 
<laughs> oh, yeah, they gotta get the business. Ah, why do you keep on talking to yourself with the third person? Can just say, can you lend me your power? <laughs> He's like Chocola from Neko Power, where Chocola also talked about herself in the third person. I like it though, it actually shows you address your personality. I'd like Sweet John. Just want someone to understand her so that she can partner up with that person. And it's actually one of the better Icosky Planet episodes. Shard, you're gonna lose. You're going to fucking lose, girl. Like, oh man. I just wonder how badly though. I hope if she, don't get me wrong. I mean, I like what she already had on, but on has got this. Hope if she loses at least, she already loses in like, maybe two out of the three categories and it isn't an absolute blowout. Because I'd feel bad for her if it's an absolute blowout. I hope she doesn't get blown out. All right, I actually always love hearing the new dialogue when they talk with their new dressias. Yo, I love that sort of confidence. I kind of want a crepe now. And you know something I like about this too? It fits on its personality because both of her dress shows have to do with sweets and cakes. And they make me absolutely fucking hungry just looking at them too. You know, I've been wanting to see her actually... I love how it looks like she's squealing. <laughs> No, but I think uh, narratively An's gonna probably take this. Unless they pull a surprise like with B and B it was the one that ended up losing against Hana. So who knows? The series is kind of unpredictable sometimes in that way. And you know, I kinda of like how the ton of the clothes actually fit in with um the dressia that An's uh, wearing right now, actually. All right, relatable song when it comes to hanging out with people and friends, especially. I like it. Sh kind of shows you that even though, yes, you have an outward appearance, there's always an inner sign of yourself and it fits in with the whole themes of the episode too. Like when on was um, interacting with uh, with their new dressia, it's the inside that matters and not the outside. The outsides could just be superficial layers. Okay, yeah, if the song is based off of An's journey, she's gonna fucking win! I mean, the song is literally her scenario. She's got this in the back. Yo, okay, it actually looks pretty good, the outfit. Well, yeah, she's gonna win in the dress category because we really didn't see she already do a dress change, dress yet change either midway. Huh. I like it. Positive vibes too. Where even though two people might have individual backgrounds, they can come together eventually. Pretty optimistic. The song. But honestly though, Shiori, you should learn that in Katsuki Planet, if you don't switch your dress shoes, you're gonna fucking lose! That's like Aikatsuki Planet 101. You should always switch your dress shoes. Or you get or you get bounced. Now now the fate of Shiori is completely sealed and she's gonna lose. But honestly though, on performance is amazing though, regardless. Oh. I mean, yes! It actually was a sweet win. I mean, they had to give on a win. It is fucking cute. Man, 
Hey, you know, that's sweet. It's shown she's becoming much more observant of situations. <laughs> Did they at least give a kick to say, I want the release? Aw, oh, that's fucking sweet. Good, at least our man got some kick. It'd be fucked up if he didn't get any kick. Good, good. Fuck, this looks delicious. I want the cake, damn it. I wish it were on screen. I would eat the fuck out of it. Probably even like a minute though. Peace. <laughs> I love it. That sock brother, she takes a, um, that slight little diss and <laughs> runs with it and uses it as a compliment. That's adorable and cute. Well, yeah, that is her first loss. Yeah, that's actually pretty darn cool. At least Jordy can take a lesson from that, too. Mm. He just loves the cake. So much of these crying. Did they burn the kitchen? They burned something. Oh, the souffle. Aww. Yeah, she should definitely leave that to the pros. I'm just joking. Maybe she needs to practice. Or maybe just more for Jeez! Talk about wrecking a woman's self comments being like, nah, you suck. Never try cooking again. I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Yo. Honestly, who, who would say no to that charm? <laughs> I love it. It's for, fourth wall breaking. It's cheesy as fuck. Series knows it's cheesy as fuck, but it works. It works with it. And that's the type of self-awareness I'd love to see. Shiny, shiny day. Wanda, Wanda, Lan. Fucking love this. Happy days. I actually like how they have a nice variety of pictures too in the ED. Honestly, when the women are running, it looks like they're about to fucking go in a bra, at least right before having, like, the full-on good dance number. I'm like, yo, it looks like they're about to kick each other's ass there for at least a small bit. Now, as for the episode itself, I dug it. I'm going to give this one an 8.75 out of 10. Honestly, Icat's Planet has been really, it's been really fucking good lately, surprisingly. Because now they're developing all the side characters that... Haven't had a lot of development. Like, a few episodes ago, it was Shorty getting the spotlight. B had multiple episodes to herself. Then you had really have a few episodes to herself. And now it was On's turn to finally get an episode herself. <clears throat> Actually, I think it's the one of the cutest dressiest, too. Hey, I would want to eat it, too. Wouldn't that be killing the dress you though if you eat it? Yo, I wanna see this. Fuck exams! Fuck them! I'm just joking, no exams are important. I can't portray my past traumas into into exams. They are useful. To an extent. Now nah, who am I kidding? Fuck exams. Fuck them. Fuck them, fuck them, fuck them. That's my thoughts on exams.
Yes. Are y'all with me too? Because that's how I feel about exams. So anyways, enough about me expressing pent up anger though. Something else I also really loved about this episode too that wasn't lost on me. Just the character development of Lon because you can tell when they first introduced her she was kind of a hard ass. I like how now she's a lot more rational when it comes to her interacting with the other girls. And she's got a lot more charisma now. I love that because old on was pretty much rough to anyone that wasn't her Ayumi. Uh, and I love how here she's becoming really good friends with all the other girls. So that's another thing that also really works in the favor of the episode too. And in addition to that, I actually like the character element for Shioti too when she realizes that yes, they actually are there because of the support of so many people. And I love that. How the series it makes the emphasis never forget about the people that helped you get to the top. Because they also deserve a lot of credit too. Yes, individual hard work is beautiful and all that. But cre give credit where credit soon. Give it to other people that helped you out. And that's why I thought the messages of the episode were strong. They were a nice moral lesson to anyone watching the series. Doesn't matter which age they are. And the animation for the... Um, the CGI stuff was actually really great for the performance. I loved it. And that, oh, and they also finally gave Shiori her first loss too, which I like that. The really